High-performance handheld spectrum analyzers are ideal for detecting and locating hidden transmitters because you can easily carry the instrument when hunting for the transmitter. Low phase noise is important when searching for signals near a strong carrier. Here is a narrow band view of an AM signal. The area from the AM carrier at the left edge of the screen and the 60 Hz hum sideband would be invisible to a handheld instrument with lesser phase noise performance, limited dynamic range, or limited resolution bandwidth choices. This measurement was made using a 1 Hz resolution bandwidth. If the narrowest available resolution bandwidth were 100 Hz, as shown here, there would be no way to make this measurement. Even a 10 Hz RBW isn't good enough to do the job. You need wide dynamic range so you can detect tiny signals in the presence of huge signals. In this measurement, the delta marker is at minus 101 dB. This is important because there may be large signals near the frequency of a hidden transmitter. Flexibility in the selection of resolution bandwidth and video bandwidth are important for hidden transmitter hunting. You can use a wide resolution bandwidth to go fast. You can use a narrow resolution bandwidth to get a low noise floor. Narrow video bandwidths let you smooth out noise on a trace and make signals near the noise floor more visible. You can be sure they are real signals, not just random noise spikes. There are several detector choices in Enritsu handheld spectrum analyzers. Of these, the peak minimum and average detectors are useful for hidden transmitter hunting. These detectors can be combined with several trace display choices to help discover signals that are trying to hide. The instrument usually makes several measurements made at slightly different frequencies for each display point. The detectors use the collected data points in different ways. The peak detector displays the maximum signal for each display point. The negative detector displays the smallest signal for each display point. The RMS average detector calculates and displays the average signal level for each display point. The trace options are normal, max hold, min hold, and average, copy trace A to trace B, copy trace A to trace C, swap traces B and C. You can use trace math functions to subtract one trace from another, this can sometimes reveal hidden signals, especially if one of the traces is a max hold trace and the other is a min hold trace. You can combine the peak detector with the min hold trace setting. By doing this, signals that are present continuously will remain visible, while signals that come and go will drop away. By combining the peak detector with the max hold trace setting, any signal that is observed, even once, will remain visible. This is a good way to catch bursty or intermittent signals. You can combine the negative detector with the min hold trace setting. Signals that are present continuously will remain visible while signals that come and go will drop away. The noise floor tends to drop by about 15 dB for a reasonably wide video bandwidth, allowing you to see signals that are otherwise buried in the noise. If you combine the negative detector with the max hold trace setting, the noise floor improves by about 3 dB, while any signal that is observed, even once, will remain visible. Here are the steps to detect small signals. Turn on the preamplifier. Use a smaller number of dB per division. Use trace averaging. Use a linear display choice, watts or volts, to make differences bigger. You can also use trace math to make signals more obvious. Here is an example where there might be something there. First, turn on the preamplifier. This lowers the noise figure significantly, perhaps as much as 25 dB. Spread out the signal vertically by changing the scale to 5 dB per division. Use trace averaging to clean up the measurement. There are even more steps that you can use if needed, including using the volts or watts linear display mode to make small variations stand out more, or you can use trace math to subtract out the noise floor. And Ritsu offers a range of products and solutions to help you locate hidden transmitters. And Ritsu, your source for professional signal sleuthing tools.